Hi and um, good afternoon everybody. Um, welcome to a sales update. Um, I haven't done one of these for a, quite a while and the reason behind it is I've just been like mad busy which I suppose everybody is at this time of year and uh, yeah so but I thought uh, I've had a really relaxed weekend I've not really done anything so I thought I would bring you a bit of a sales update of what's been selling over the last couple of weeks for me um, these are the more interesting items that I've sold there's a story behind some of them and um, just a general mishmash of stuff really this is not all I've sold but um, this is just some more of the more interesting items should, should I say so uh, the first item is this um, Disney Disney Eye I think it's a board game yeah it is it's a board game I haven't really looked at it it was sealed I picked it up from a car boot sale and I paid 50 pence for it uh, Ravensburger is renowned for um, puzzles but this was a board game it was Disney it was 50 pence so it was like yeah it's a win-win it'll do for Christmas time that sold for 20 plus oh no that was free postage I thought I would add a lot of free postage to um, toys and stuff at this time of year just so because some people do search for free postage on stuff so I just thought I'd try that out and see um, whether that works for me. So, uh, yeah, I offered this with free postage. So, But from 50 pence, there's an easy £10 profit in that. Next, we have a mustard uh, long line mohair blend Italian made card. God, that's a mouthful, isn't it? This item was brand new with tags. It didn't have a make or did it but it's something that I couldn't find anything on so I left it out yeah it, the the make of it was called set and I've never heard of it when I searched for it couldn't really find much so I decided to list it just um as a mohair Italian blend cardigan because um that's the the best way I thought I could describe it it was a lovely, lovely cardigan, this. Really super soft, um, well made as well. Like I say, I don't know how much this would have retailed at, uh, but it was new tag, so I put it on for £29.50. I think I paid about £7.50 for this, um, or roundabout. This was um, one of the higher end places that I go, but I just really, really liked it, and I thought, you know, Italian and it's mohair, so... And uh, yeah, I got the full asking price, £29.50, plus postage on top of that. I put these in because um, I do sell long, tall Sally clothes, although they don't be, they're not selling it as well as they used to do. They used to sell for a lot more money and a lot quicker. They've sort of tailed off a bit now. But these were boots and I found these and the reason I picked them up was because they were new, for one. And the second reason was because they're a UK size 10. These must be the biggest pair of boots that I have ever seen for a lady. Um, so, but bigger sizes sell fast. Um, let's just say there's a market out there for larger ladies shoes. Uh, these were listed and sold within a couple of days. I paid four or five pounds for these, and yeah, they sold twenty six fifty. Uh, so that takes it to thirty with postage. So I was really really happy with that sale. Maybe could have got a bit more for them, but you know, I, for a quick turnaround, I'm quite happy with the the profit on that. I put this in because this is a fail. Um. I bought these when I was dipping my toe into Amazon uh, RA stuff. I bought these. Sorry, you could probably see that text message on. That's from my son. Uh, please excuse that. Um, yeah, these are RA what I picked up. And I bought them about three months ago. Um, and I paid $7.99 each for these um, from Argos. And uh, they were they'd been reduced from I think it was thirty pound 
Uh, but just be aware, guys, sometimes when Argos say that they reduce stuff and it was 30, if you actually check around and about in other shops, they don't actually retail for £30. And this is where I got come unstuck because I um, I purchased these at £7.99. Um, I purchased a few of these, um, not just this colour. This is just one of many colours that I purchased and it's taken forever to sell and I've only sold this one. So it was a fail. Although I've made profit on it, I would not pick them up again. Um, I just thought with them being Star Wars and lightsabers, they would sell dead, dead quick. But no, they've hung around and hung around. And like I say, I've only sold one in the green. I've got some red ones and I think there's some blue ones available. I've got some up at Amazon. Um, but with all the rules that were changing with Amazon, where they were people were allowed to sell certain stuff again and people were having stock returned. When I scanned this, I was able to sell it, but when I wanted to send it up to Amazon, I was restricted. So just be careful, guys. You know, when you're doing a bit of RA, do your research properly. Um, so this, I didn't really research properly, and this is where you can come unstuck a little bit with Amazon. So uh, lesson learned. Now, this is a sale from today, so I had to put this in. Uh, this hasn't um, been um, posted out yet, and I really should, probably shouldn't be posting it up here until it's been posted out. Um, but it was such a good sale, I thought I really, you know, I really want to put it in my sales report. So, fingers crossed it doesn't come back. Uh, everything's there. It was really, really good condition, and didn't look like it had been used really i'll just go through the photos for you so i try i had to do the uh, photographs and do multiple ones because there just wasn't enough with 12 um these were all unpainted um and it really like i say really really good condition all the cards dice and uh and the um the top left hand corner here, just let me click on it so it'll stay on. This pad was unused, it hasn't even been used, you can actually see there. Uh, it's quite thick, I don't think they'd ever use that. So, and then I'll just go down here. They're just really, really good condition. And this was, um, I took all the board pieces out just, just to show, you know, that the box was in really, really good condition as well. Now, I did have this on a best offer. I priced it really high. It's been, it has been on a couple of months, but I priced it to sell for Christmas. So I'm really, really pleased that it has gone at this time of year. I did have, like I said, best offer on, but the person has just decided to pay the full asking price. And um, I only charged economic posts because something that high, do you know what I mean? I paid £1.50 for this. £1.50. Yeah, I know. I really, really just dropped on with this. Um, so I can afford the extra postage cost on top. To be honest with you, I should have really offered free postage, um, judging by the amount that it's, it, you know, it sold for. So, but nice little sale uh, for me today. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So, yeah, move on to the next one. This was a really nice find as well. I did pay up for this. I paid eleven ninety nine for this in a, a British Heart Foundation, but it was immaculate. And these ski suits, especially the EFV, which I think may be wrong in saying this, but I think it was C and A's. Can't let's have a look at the label inside. I'm not quite sure, but you can tell with the label inside, you know, it was absolutely immaculate condition. I was so super chuffed when I found this. Um, and I had it listed at 65. It has been listed for a while. Got loads and loads of watches on it, and um, but nobody, nobody was biting. So I did take an offer on this. And I think the offer was around about the £50 mark or 55 but still from 11 99 I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. So, yeah, happy days. 
these were just a random, really random pickup. I do not do Nerf at all. I can't stand the stuff. But I walked into a charity shop near me, a local charity shop, and they had this big, massive bag of Nerf stuff, and it was £3 for the whole lot. And there was four of these in there. Uh, two are still listed for sale, and obviously I sold these two at £28.50. Uh, the next item that you're going to see is from that bundle as well, so I shall show you that too. But um, yeah, £3 for the whole bundle. These went for £28.50. Um, I think, no, there was postage on top of that, yeah, so charge postage. So from a £3 investment, well into profit. So that was those ones, and then in there were these uh, two Nerf masks as well, um, which I really didn't think would have much of a retail value at all, but they were, again, they were like new, they didn't look like they'd been worn, to be honest with you, and I think I took an offer on these of, um, it, I think I want to say I took an offer of around about 20, maybe a little bit more than 20, but they owe me nothing because I've made the profit back in the last sale that you've just seen. Plus, I think I've got another two of the um, Magnums, what you've just seen in the last haul, uh, the last sale. I've got a gun with some bullets. I've got um, a spur pack of bullets, which is new and sealed. And I've got some other random bits at home that I still haven't listed. So well, well into profit with this. It was a, it was, it was just a deal that I couldn't leave behind. But um, generally, as a rule, I won't pick. If I go to car boots, I don't pick uh, Nerf guns up. It's not something I can be bothered with, really. But um, at that price, you can't leave it. It would be stupid. This is the jacket. It's red, and that is probably why I put it in because it's Christmas time. Get all your red stuff listed. Now, red sells well for me at any time of year, but obviously particularly at Christmas time because it is um, the seasonal colour. So this was a little wool jacket. This was picked up from uh, my one ninety nine charity shop on a Sunday where everything's a pound. So this jacket actually cost me the grand total of one pound. Um, it's size 8. I really didn't think it was sell as quickly as it has done. It's gone in its first cycle. And I, I want to say I took an offer on this as well. Um, I think I did have it on best offer. And I think I might have took about 35 or 30 on that. Um, but then again, it could have sold for the full asking price. I'm not 100% sure. Bit, bit hopeless doing a sales video. I can't tell you what things have gone for. But between 30 and the full asking price it's gone for. But from a pound, um, yeah, it was well worth picking up. So... Now I put this one in because it's a summer dress and it just goes to prove that stuff will sell all year round. I mean, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, where else are you going to buy summer stuff at this time of year? If you want to, if you're going away on holiday, as many people do at this time of year, people go away all year round in the winter months. And if you want to buy something for your holidays where it's going to be nice and warm, where are you going to go? The only place you can really go is eBay or charity shops, I suppose. But even most charity shops nowadays will um, pull all the summer stuff off and um, send it to the ragman or whatever they do with it um, because they want to rotate the stock and obviously they don't think that summer stuff will sell. It doesn't sell as well as it does in summer, but it still does sell. So it is always worth listing those summer items if you've got them in stock. Don't think that they won't sell. So, yeah, I can't remember how much this owes me. Probably no more than about £3, I would say. So, yeah, uh, definitely a £10 profit on that. Oh, this little dude. I've got two of these. Um, this one I purchased, I think, from a charity shop. And I think I paid £2 for him. One ninety nine. I think I paid for him. And I've got one with blue hair as well, which also sold um, previous to this. I did pay five for that, though. 
uh, from the car boot. The lady had a vintage stall and she was like, oh no, I want five pound. And I said, would you take four? And no, no, she wanted the five. But they'd both gone for more or less the same price. So from a this was a £2 investment. The other one was a £5 investment. You know, I'm quite happy to take the profit on that. Um, they're not quick sellers, unfortunately. Uh, they have hung around for a while, but they don't really take up that much space, to be honest. So would I pick them up again? Yeah, yeah, I would. Um, as long as they're in fairly good condition, which uh, these ones were. This one was. So he needed a little bit of clean on his face and his hands, but yeah, generally he was in good condition. So there you go. There's his little face. <laughs> this is a Jager skirt, as you can see. It was a cotton and silk blend, A-line. Just loved this skirt. Um, just put it in because it was a good price that I got for it. Paid £4 for this. And uh, yeah, it sold for the full asking of £31.50. Um, not really much else I can say about that, really, to be honest with you. But um, it just goes to show that Jager pieces, Jake has dropped in price. But if you get some nice pieces, um, this was a nice piece. Um, you can command, still command high money for them. So, car boot pickup. This one I did pay up for these, to be honest with you. I think I paid about twelve pound for these. Uh, didn't have an absolute scooby what I was going on about with these. Never picked up wrestling figures before. Just really, really liked them. She had these ones and some bigger ones. And I'm not quite sure with the bigger ones, but I think I'd seen somewhere that these little rumble figures um, are quite collectible. People like them, like to collect them. It has been listed for a while. I did pick up in car boot season. So um, I would say they've probably been listed about four months. So, but I was quite happy to hang on to them. I got 31.50, so... Yeah, it's got to be um, worth picking up um, again. I think I would pick them up again. Not quite sure if there's any rare ones in there. Uh, you know, I didn't research them or anything like that. I just put them in a, a in a big bundle and sold them. I'm not one of these that um, likes to list like individual figures separately uh, unless I really know what I'm talking about. I couldn't. To be perfectly honest, I couldn't be bothered doing the research because the research takes time and I'm quite happy. If somebody wants to buy that bundle and make any more money on it, then I'm quite happy to let them do that and, and you know, I'm happy with the profit that I've got from, from it. So, yeah, happy to move those on. Oops, not got that up there. Right. These were a pick-up from a charity shop um, in a local town to me. Walking boots, always worth checking on your walking boots, no matter um, what they are. It's always worth researching them. These are quite a, quite a good brand. They were in fantastic condition. They were in good condition, but I wouldn't say that they were excellent. Um, but walking boots generally don't tend to be because they're used for outdoor pursuits, aren't they? So, uh, so yeah, but I paid seven fifty for these and... I did take an offer on these, but it was round about the £70 mark um, that I got for these. So these are um, Scarpa, is it called? Scarpa, I want to say. Uh, Vibram soles, um, just leather walking boots. But uh, like I say, yeah, always worth researching any walking boots you come across in charity shops because there is really good money in them. So uh, happy to take around about £70, I think, was... Um, what I let them go for, and uh, from £7.50, that's great. And the last one I want to show you is something that is well, well, well out of my comfort zone. Um, this come into a local charity shop to me, and, and they wanted, um, I think I ended up paying £15 for it, but I think they wanted more for it. Uh, I did some research on it. Um, it's a Toshiba. There we go. There's the. Um, it's a DVR one eight DT, and it's a DVD to a, a VCR to DVD recorder. So it's a combi. So it it records from tapes to CDs from years back when. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't think you can get hold of these anymore. Don't, they don't really make them, do they? So people uh, people like to uh, still record move stuff over don't they people have got tapes from years ago so 
Yeah, um, I did have it on best offer. It did have some scratches, some uh, surface scratches, but it was fully. We tested it all, and it was working. It come with its remote, no uh, manual or anything on it. Um, but yeah, uh, got one hundred and twenty nine fifty for that, uh, plus seven pound fifty. Uh, postage I sent it with UPS um, which is next working day at £7.50 and uh, yeah I haven't had feedback from it but it was sold uh, as you can see uh, on the 2nd of December and I haven't had um, anything back as of yet from the from the buyer so I'm presuming that everything is happy with that but um, yeah but yeah so the some of the sales that I've sold uh, over the last couple of weeks, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you've it's been um, worth watching for you. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, please uh, please do subscribe because I do do these every now and again. I do uh, mainly haul videos, but uh, yeah, I um uh, I shall see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.